Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can clean up your iPhone storage. This is actually quite a straightforward process when you know where the settings are, and it's a good practice just to go through to make sure that you're not wasting any space. So let's get started. OK, guys, so here I have my iPhone and the first thing we want to do is actually navigate to our settings. So we're going to click on settings just here. From this menu, we're going to scroll down until we find general. Click on general and inside here you have the third option, which is iPhone storage. We're going to click on iPhone storage Now this might just take a moment to load. Um, I have this preloaded so that we can go through the tutorial pretty quickly. Um, but basically, you can see at the top here you have your iPhone storage. Now, for me, I've got 144.25 gigabits used of my 512 gigabits, right? That means I have three space of 367.75 gigabits, right? Then you can see that it's broken down into different categories here. So the red area is applications, orange is messages, yellow is photos. Then you've got iOS and system data in gray, and then music, mail and stuff is that little kind of slither right in the middle there. Now, that's quite important to note because it's going to help you understand where the majority of your space is being used. OK, underneath that, we can then see that there are some automatic recommendations by Apple. OK, so the first one here for me is to review large attachments. Right, save up to 36.53 gigabits. You know, that's basically from photos, videos, attachments, taking up large storage capacity within messages. And you've got to consider maybe deleting those. OK, so we could click into that and we could review that. Underneath that, we've also got the offload unused applications. This could save up to 22.89 gigabits. Basically, what that will do is it will automatically delete any applications that have not been used for a while, but it will keep all the app data so that if you decide to reinstall it, it's like the app was always there. OK, so this way you can keep all of the data, but actually remove some of the bloat from the um, from the actual iPhone. And you can simply just enable that and it will automatically happen in the background. OK, scrolling down a little bit further, ranked by size, you have all of the key areas on your iPhone that are causing a little bit of an issue when it comes to your uh, storage on your iPhone, right? So for me, the top one is messages. It means there's a lot of messages that are having a lot of images or videos uh, shared on them. If we click into that, we can see here that the app size itself is 2.9 megabits, but the actual documents and data contained within my messages are 36.57 gigabits. That means there's a lot of bloat there. So we could review the large attachments. We could automatically delete some old conversations. And if we scroll down a little bit further in messages here, we could also see that there's top conversations, there's photos, videos, GIFs, stickers and others. And we can see where the bulk of that, you know, um, I guess, blow of the uh, storage is actually coming from. We could go into each of these and then review them. For example, if we click on photos inside here, I could then go ahead and click on edit and then I can go ahead and delete. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to delete them from the Messenger app. It's not going to delete any saved photos that I've actually saved into my photos application. I'm not going to do that, but it gives you an idea that you can go ahead and delete any of the old kind of videos or images, photos, etc., that you've shared inside the Messenger app, even if they are already saved on your uh, photo roll, for example, a camera roll. Um, it's only going to delete them from the Messenger app itself, not from your saved directories within photos. So it's just a way that you can see that there's duplication that's going on. And it's a great way to basically remove some of that bloat. And that's just within the Messenger area. You can come into photos. You could do the same there. Again, other applications like Facebook, Music, Messenger, Telegram, WhatsApp, Discord, whatever it might be, there's going to be saved information, saved data, whether that's images, photos um, or video files, things like that. And you can go through each of these, deleting the things that you do not need. OK, it's a great way to basically manage your storage. OK, so um, I would go through all of that, but we don't really have to. Uh, for the most part, it's basically going to be looking at the recommendations, enabling to offload applications, reviewing any large images and video files within different applications, and basically just managing the storage that way. This will free up a significant amount of space within your iPhone. And that's really it, guys. It's as simple as that to essentially clean up your 
storage within your iPhone. If this has worked for you, you found it helpful, useful, and informative, make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe for more hints and tips. I'll catch you all in the next one.